Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. I'm talking about ANC stock. Shout out to Jeffrey Pritchard for posting this. He came up with uh, some very strong data. AMC versus Cinemark Q3, right? Now we all want to know why is Cinemark stock going up and all our theater competitor stocks going up and AMC continually going down? Well, here's one reason. In addition to Adam Aaron diluting and stealing our shares and rigging the AMC vote and working with the hedge funds to crash AMC stock, in addition to all that, we got to deal with the failures that he's uh, done, okay, with signing awful rent deals, okay? Why would you pay so much for rent? Rent is a total and complete waste of money, all right? Now, if you want AMC theaters in your building, you're going to give us ultra low rent or maybe give it to us free or we'll give you like 1% of a certain earnings from that one particular location, something like that. Rent is a total waste of money, okay? Now, let's take a look here. AMC's revenue was 1.6 times higher than Cinemark's. AMC's screen count is 1.75 times higher than Cinemark's. AMC's food and bev costs were only 1.4 times Cinemark's. Now, pause right there. Why is our food and bev cost higher than Cinemark's? Why? Let's go to number four. AMC's rent, however, was 2.7 times higher than Cinemark's, 270% higher than Cinemark's. Why? Why? Does Cinemark have a better CEO and better board, better leadership to where they can negotiate better rent deals? Why are we paying so much for rent? It's so disgusting. Rent is a total waste of money. What does AMC get back for paying rent? Disgusting. All right. So why did you make those deals and why did you overpay for rent? That's what I want to know. Adam Aaron and the board, why did you overpay for rent and why are you overpaying for rent? What kind of deals did you sign? All right, so AMC's operating costs were 1.8 times higher than Cinemark's. AMC's interest expense was 2.5 times higher than Cinemark's. Would you go to Loan Sharks? I mean, what are you guys doing at AMC? You're running this thing like it's an organized crime. It's disgusting. AMC's net income was 14% of Cinemark's. 14%. We have the most theaters by far, okay? And we have 175% more theaters than Cinemark. And our net income's 14% of what Cinemark's was. And it's because mainly because of the rent that we get ripped off on because you, I don't want to say anything bad. You made bad deals. ANC leadership made bad deals and signed bad deals on the rent. They got ripped off. Okay. So you look at this. I was looking at these numbers for Q3. The revenue for admissions, we had about 800 million. Cinemark only had 443 million and they crushed us. When you go all the way to the bottom line, net earnings, okay, or net income, I'm sorry. We had 12.3 million. They had 90 million in one quarter. We had 12.3 million. Earnings per share, we had 0 0.08 cents. Cinemark had 0.76 cents. They crushed us. And that just comes down to failed leadership from AMC. I tried to get on the board of AMC. I did everything I was supposed to do. I was nominated. I sent in all the paperwork exactly as I was supposed to do. I had 1,039 signatures from AMC investors and explanations from them as to why they wanted me on the ballot. Yet, the number two guy in charge, I don't even remember his name. He's the chief financial officer, the lawyer guy for AMC right below Adam Aaron. He's, he replied back to me uh, through email with an attached letter. And he said, we're not allowing you on the ballot because you didn't match. You didn't complete all the bylaws. You missed one of the bylaws. OK, <laughs> are you kidding me? I missed one of the bylaws on the application. I had my lawyer look at it. And basically what happened was the lawyer said that they have 101 bylaws and 101 hoops to jump through to, just to get on the ballot. And they intentionally do that because they want to keep their organized crime unit rolling. Do you guys understand? So we need someone powerful like Bill Polte, okay, that I've been talking to you about Bill Polte, to get on the board or to, to actually get on the board wouldn't be enough. Put me on the board. I'll be a supportive measure. But you need a power player like Bill Polte to be the CEO uh, of AMC, an honest man, so that we can turn things around and do what's right for the investors and do what's right for justice, for justice. Right, guys? So what do you think about it all? Comment below. 
Why is Cinemark kicking our behinds when we're making way more money than them? Our admissions are $800 million in Q3. Theirs was only $443 million. We took in almost double what they took in. And they made, bottom line, they made way more than double of what we made. And we, we had double the revenue. So you have to look at this operating costs, expensive, rent, you know, all this stuff. Everybody has them. We have them. They have them. Ours were mismanaged by Adam Aaron and the board. They were mismanaged on a massive scale. And that doesn't even consider anything shady they're doing, okay, to fill their pockets. And Adam Aaron got a $20 million salary last year. And how much you think they're paying those guys on the board? Not only their salaries, how much stock are those guys getting as awards? How much stock is Adam Aaron getting as awards? I mean, it's ridiculous. We need someone to step in. We need Bill Bol Polte's assistant because he's a power player and he wants to help. He reached out to Adam Aaron. He said, talk to me on Twitter. He said, talk to me. I want to talk to you. I don't think Adam Aaron's responded yet and he probably won't. We need to come together as a group of investors and we need to put pressure on Adam Aaron. We need to put pressure on the right people to assist us. And when I say put pressure on the right people, it's good pressure. Good pressure on the good people, bad pressure on the bad people, okay? <laughs> um, astounding, 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 astounding. You know, because we'll look at our Q3 and we'll be like, oh, we made $12 million. And then you look at Cinemarks and you're like, wow, they made $90 million and they shouldn't have. Come, they shouldn't have beat us. If Cinemark made $90 million Q3, we should have made $180 million Q3. How would that stock be looking right now if we did that? And it all comes down to mismanagement. Now you know. Hit like, subscribe, and notification. Share the video with a friend. Just remember, when you hit like, you're supporting our channel. You're not supporting Adam Aaron. Okay, please hit like. Um, also look down to the right. Add the notification bell icon because they've been hiding my videos from you. All right. And let's get some movement on this, guys. Let's get some comments on Twitter X. Follow me on Twitter X. Stocks and crypto plays on Twitter X. Okay, guys? Um, let's get some momentum going on this. Let's ask questions. Let's put some heat on the AMC board and on the AMC leadership, leadership like Adam Aaron. Let's dive a little deeper like this guy did, okay? And let's find out what's going on and why we aren't succeeding.